Did you see that? Right there. It happened in the space of a few microseconds, faster than you can blink, and almost impossible for the naked eye to see alone. But it's a move that can ruin amateur golfers' swings, and it can end careers. To appreciate Will Zalatoris' comeback from injury, and maybe even avoid injury yourself, it's a move you really need to understand. So let's take a closer look. The golf swing is a combination of tilts, turns, and bends. Lots of different parts of your body tilt, turn, and bend when you swing a golf club. But one of the most important is a movement called side bend. It's a term you may have heard before. Side bend is this kind of reverse C shape on the downswing. In every good golf swing, the lower body shifts ahead of the upper body as the club approaches impact, which by effect, tilts the upper body back. The gap between the upper and lower body increases, and that's how side bend is created. But anyway, side bend is really important for a bunch of reasons. One of them being that it helps golfers hit up on the ball with their driver, which helps them hit the ball further. But side bend in some ways is like adding salt to your food. Don't add enough salt and your food will taste bland and boring, but add too much, and then it starts to ruin the meal. It's really bad for your health too. You just need the right amount to make the perfect dish. Many amateur golfers usually don't create enough side bend. Their lower body stays back and their upper body goes forward, which causes them to get steep and over the top and if the club face is open, hit really big banana slices. But junior golfers and pros, golfers with lots of flexibility, they have the opposite problem. They tend to create too much side bend. And that's what was happening to Zalatoris. As he started the downswing, his lower body would drive aggressively forward as his upper body hung back. All that side bend meant that as Zalatoris rotated through, his right hip would begin to rise up while the right side of his lower back stayed down. When this kind of excessive side bending happens, it compresses and crunches the L4 and L5 discs in the lower spine. That's a problem, because as a study by Dr. David Lindsay explains, those discs in the back don't have much muscle or bone to protect them. If you're a junior golfer watching this, or a parent of a junior golfer, it's an important concept to understand. Because those discs, when they start shearing together, that's what creates a lot of lower back pain and injury. And coaches, they have a keen eye for this stuff. After his injury, Zalatoris said he dived deep into his golf swing with his longtime swing coach, Troy Denton. Together, they paid a visit to the Titleist Performance Institute. Zalatoris decided to make some changes. Not an easy decision, considering he was one of the best ball strikers on tour, but a necessary one. Coach Denton says taking Zalatoris out of back pain came down to one swing thought. Get your butt back and turn around the corner. You see, before, Zalatoris had a tendency to pick up his arms very vertically on the backswing. With his arms this high, Denton explains that Zalatoris would need to add a ton of right side bend in the space of just a few fractions of a second on the downswing. Tilting out of it, that was his only way he could shallow the club and hit the ball well. Zalatoris is really talented and really athletic, so he did this well. He became the best ball striker in golf doing this but it started taking a toll physically. So that's when the changes came. First, the pair loosened up Will's posture to take pressure off his lower back. It used to be slightly curved. Now, it's more in a straight line. And then the pair started working on moving his arms more around his body, rather than straight up. The change in direction was small, just a few inches. But by moving his arm slightly more around him, it landed Zalatoris in a backswing position where he didn't need to tilt like crazy on the downswing. He could get his butt back and turn the corner as he rotated through. That allowed Zalatoris to have a little less side bend, which takes pressure off his back and even improved his consistency along the way, as Zalatoris explains in his own words. You know, now I'm, I'm way more rotational and way more horizontal with what I do um, as opposed to being more up and down and you know like I said it, it, it's more it's just simplifying stuff it's not changing moves it's not changing 
um, what I'm doing. It's just, you know, I mean, you know, think it through. Left heel off the ground with a bunch of side bend. That, that, that just does not add up to feeling very good on your back. It's early days in his comeback, and the changes, they're still a work in progress. But the signs so far are good. Zalatoris 2.0 and his coach have calculated a new recipe of bends, turns, and tilts. And it seems to have all the right ingredients to take him back to the very top.